Hey there YouTube, Corncob Piper coming at you on, it is uh, Sunday morning out here in the garage and focus this here. Enjoy a nice cigar, this is a uh, Alec Bradley Tempest. I don't really know much about cigars so I'm not going to give you my review or impression or anything of it. Uh, but this is a nice one. I've smoked some that I really didn't like. And this one I am quite enjoying. It's pretty pretty mild. I think I have a tendency to prefer the uh, the more mild cigars. Um, but this morning I, I thought I'd do a, a Yabo for you. Uh, this is uh, Yabo from uh, Moonshine Pipes. Now, I'm sure everybody knows that the big thing recently is the uh, Devil Ant style pipes. Now, I own a couple of the uh, Missouri Meerschaum Cobb pipes, um, but I wanted to get a briar as well. Now, I looked at a few, and I had ordered previously... Well, let me back up here. So, the, 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 the shape of this pipe is based off of uh, Kevin Costner's character in the, the three-part miniseries, The Hatfields and the McCoys. So, um... Kevin Costner plays a Devil Ants Hatfield, and uh, the late Bill Paxton plays Randolph uh, McCoy. It's a great, great miniseries. If you haven't seen it, I would definitely recommend you checking it out. It's definitely worth watching. But in that movie, Kevin Costner's uh, character uh, smokes a little small cutty style uh, wooden pipe that I thought since I watched the movie I you know I was like oh man I gotta get a pipe like that it looks so cool so I started looking at uh, you know the the ant style pipes and I did order this one up this is a Chris Morgan blackjack I do own a few other of his pipes this is the uh, chunky ants um, now while this is a nice pipe it just wasn't really what I was looking for I you know I was expecting something different from the picture than what I got uh, this does look like a pretty cool uh, pipe to smoke, but I've decided to go ahead and list this one on eBay uh, just because I ordered the Moonshine Pipe, which is more to what I was actually looking for. Like I said, nothing against Chris Morgan. He, he makes great pipes. I own three other of his pipes. Uh, this one just was not for me, uh, specifically because I was looking for more uh, of a pipe that looks similar to the one that Kevin Costner smoked in uh, the movie. And I think I found it in this Moonshine Pipes here. So I'm gonna go ahead, I already cut the box open. I'm gonna go ahead and take this out for you. Let you take a look at it. Comes in this little, uh, little satin bag with the uh, Moonshine uh, pipe company on there, the logo, and this comes from their Triple uh, X series uh, of Moonshine Pipes. So let's go ahead now and we'll pull this guy out and turn it right side up. Alright, so there is the pipe. I'll show you the difference now between the size of this one, how small it is, uh, compared to the Chunky Ants by uh, Chris Morgan. So this pipe, guys, really does, it's about as similar as you're going to get to the one that Kevin Costner smoked. This is wire rusticated. Um, it is, I think, about four inches long. I wrote down the stats and we'll get those to a minute. So pretty cool looking pipe. It's got the uh, lightning bolt on there, which is the Moonshine uh, Pipes logo, and I'll let you guys get a better up close a view of this pipe so this pipe's pretty pretty cool I'm really looking forward to smoking this one I'm, I'm very very excited about it actually they have this in a sandblasted version as well uh, see if I can get this to focus I just preferred the look of the uh, wire rusticated I think that looks pretty cool very very dark black stain on there just a little nice clencher I think that pipe looks pretty pretty badass guys like I'm pretty pretty excited about this purchase I'll go ahead and post the link down below 
uh, to Moonshine Pipes website if you guys want to go ahead and order one up. And if you're interested in that Chris Morgan uh, Chunky Ants, uh, those are sold out at Morgan Pipes. So if you're interested in getting one, uh, go to YouTube uh, later on this evening and you can, you can bid on, on that pipe that I'm selling. So the owner of Moonshine Pipes, his name is Jonathan Lavazzo, and he is, uh, their factory is located in Charlottesville, Virginia. Uh, this is, the, once again, the Devil Ants uh, Triple X uh, line of pipe, wire rusticated. The length of this pipe is 4 inches. Uh, the height of the pipe is 1.72 inches. Uh, bowl diameter is uh, 3 quarters, quarters of an inch, so 0.75 inches. And the bowl depth is 1.4 inches. So just so you get an idea of how deep the bowl is. So uh, right around uh, yay deep. So we'll probably get 30 to 40 minute smoke out of this bowl, depending on what's packed in there. And then this pipe is very, very light, guys. Only one ounce for this pipe. So I always like having pipes that you can clench very easy. Uh, so that's part of the reason that I'm pretty excited about this. And then obviously it gets the name, the uh, Triple X uh, line is based off of the, um, the X's that were uh, used to be uh, written on the bottles of uh, Moonshine back in the day. And if you don't know uh, why the X's were put on there, I'll give you a little, little brief history on that. So uh, basically each X stands for, for each time that the, uh, that the beer or the, the wash, whatever you want to call it, was, was distilled. So Basically, when you're running whiskey, the initial run is called a stripping run. You're running it fast and hot. You're pulling out all of the alcohols as quickly as possible. Uh, but you're also pulling out the bad stuff, so uh, like acetone and uh, methanol, which are byproducts of, of uh, fermentation. So when the, uh, when the yeast is eating the sugars, uh, main byproduct from the yeast eating the sugars is, is carbon dioxide and alcohol. Uh, but they also uh, produce small amounts of acetone and, um, and methanol. And then methanol is the stuff that basically, uh, you've heard the old saying that, that moonshine to make you go blind. If you do not get rid of the methanol, that's the stuff that's obviously going to make you go blind. And if you drink enough of it, it can kill you. So uh, basically the moonshine back in the day with a single X on it mean that it had been distilled once and more than likely was still poisonous. This was like a rot gut stuff, uh, super, super cheap uh, that the, you know, the rummies and stuff like that would buy. Didn't care if it made them sick. They just wanted a cheap drunk. Now, during the second distillation, Usually the first, uh, first portion of that, which is called the, the heads, uh, which contains the uh, acetone, the methanol, that part is taken out and just thrown out. And during the second distillation, you, that's where you get a, a pretty good proof um, moonshine. Uh, it's gonna have great taste. Alcohol content's gonna be probably 100, 110 proof, um, uh, a very, very strong taste from the grain still. Uh, nothing wrong with drinking uh, twice distilled uh, moonshine. It, it tastes pretty good. Uh, it's a little bitey, uh, a little strong, a harshness, uh, but the flavor and the clarity of it's you know pretty good. It's pretty tasty stuff. Uh, that do, don't... Uh, received two X's by the, the distiller. Basically, we put his two X's on there, signifying that he's distilled that product twice. Now, obviously, uh, you distill it a third time. Uh, you're gonna lose a little bit of the taste, but the alcohol content's gonna come up quite a bit. It's gonna become more smooth, uh, less of a bite, and you're gonna end up with a, a final product of, of whiskey with a, a proof of around 140 uh, to 160. Obviously, they, they will add some distilled water to that diluted down. Uh, most moonshiners will sell their, their, their moonshine at between 100 and 120 proof. 
I actually prefer to drink mine at around uh, 90 proof, which is 45% alcohol. Uh, so after the third time, don't uh, that denoted the the uh, basically three times distilled, three X's, which was top high end quality moonshine. Uh, the stuff that people that took pride in what they made uh, would sell. So basically, one X you got rot gut. Uh, two X's is the middle of the middle of the road, you know, decent, good whiskey. Uh, three X's denoted, uh, denoted um, you know, high end quality quality whiskey. So hence the reason for the the three X's guys. I just wanted to give you a you know brief history on that. I myself and I'm an, I'm an artesian distiller, so I know quite a bit about the uh, the moonshine making process or whiskey making process for that matter. So. Once again, one last look at the pipe, guys. I'm going to probably go ahead and smoke this guy later tonight. I'm definitely looking forward to it. Once again, that's what it looks like, you know, clenched in my mouth. So pretty excited about this. Moonshine pipes, you know, they, they're from all the reviews that I've read made a, a great product. I am super excited to have one of their pipes. Once again, I'll have the link down below if you guys want to go ahead and purchase one for yourself. Uh, and that's pretty much all I got for today. So as always, YouTube, keep on piping.